What's up, hoes? I've been waiting all year to say that. It's the holiday season. Da, 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 da. And we finally got some news today. Apple's entire lineup for 2022 has leaked what we're getting for iPads, Macs, Apple Watches, iPhones. There are so many details that I can't wait to share with you, so go ahead and drop a like down below if you're excited. Get those elves hitting the like button. Let's get the little clay people. <laughs> what are clay people? <laughs> they should hit the subscribe button, though. Okay, first story, everything Apple is announcing next year. Let's get into it. Savior to the Apple game, Mark Gurman dropped this insane report. As you can tell by these uncontrollable arm movements, we have so much info. And for all of Apple's releases, I wanna start off and go, go smallest to biggest. So let's start off with the Apple Watch because Apple is doing something in 2022 that they have never done yet. Three new models are coming in 2022. And I'm not talking about finishes, I'm talking about legitimate models. There is going to be a new version of the standard Apple Watch that comes in stainless steel, aluminum, Hermes, Nike. That's one of the models. Then we have a new version of the Apple Watch SE coming. And then there's this third Explorer model that's gonna have a rugged design. So let's start off first with the standard Apple Watch. What do we know about the Apple Watch Series 8? First off, it might have a redesign considering that German and Prosser and uh, Guo, Minchi were all like, yeah, form factor redesign flat edges for the Series 7. And we all know how that leak turned out, don't we? But I'll be honest, after seeing the slightly updated Series 7 design wise, I love where the watch is at. I think it looks good. I would like to see more year over year improvements, but the rounded edges are more comfortable and just look better as a piece of jewelry is, is something that you wear. We don't have much information on the Series 8, but Apple is said to be gearing up for more health sensors. So blood glucose detection and monitoring could be coming, although I still believe in my heart that that's a couple of years out. What should be coming on the Series 8 is a body temperature sensor. I mean, very appropriate in the age of COVID. So your watch will be able to tell you what your, your current temperature is, which is super cool and brilliant and probably the most useful sensor that they've ever dropped. Next up, we are also getting a new Apple Watch SE next year. Unfortunately, there aren't any super solid rumors for what the SE new version is going to bring, but considering it's Apple's lower end version of the Apple Watch, don't expect the newest health sensors or features, but things scaled back that have been out for a little bit. A faster processor, and maybe Apple could even increase the screen sizes to be the new updated 41 and 45 millimeter sizes, just like we got with the Series 7. Maybe some of that new design language on the lower end watch, since it's been out on the high-end watch for a year. But by far, I'm most intrigued by this rugged Apple Watch. In fact, German is the only one we've heard talk about this, and he's been talking about it for months. Uh, at one point, it was supposed to come out this year with the Series 7. Turns out it's been pushed back to the Series 8, and it's going to be similar to a G-Shock that is way more resistant than the current Apple Watches. I think this is gonna be made of sort of a, a rubberized coating, and I think, I believe in my heart, it's gonna be the square design. Even if this doesn't come to the standard SE or the Series Series 7 in 2022, I believe that the rugged Apple Watch is going to have a like larger-ish screen and a new squared design. It just feels more sturdy and rugged and brutal than the circular, rounded, comfy Apple Watches. And this is a context it would work. I don't know why I'm really excited for this watch, but I am. And I'm not even an extreme athlete unless we're talking about in the bedroom. Hey, yo, let's go up top. Thanks. Uh, what were we, I'm excited for the watch though. Yeah, the Series 7 rugged. It's gonna be pretty cool. Next up, let's talk about the iPhone. There's gonna be five new models coming. We are expecting a new version of the iPhone SE that's gonna have a faster chip and 5G. That's really all you need to know about it. Same design as before. That's coming in the first quarter of 2022. And then later in the year in September, we will see the iPhone 14s. I don't wanna spend a ton of time talking about these. Just know that this is the biggest update since the iPhone 12. It is going to be a complete redesign and rethink, and it is an absolute callback to the stunning iPhone 4. I am so excited to hold these phones. I mean, I think they are going to feel unlike anything else. And I know it's just another iPhone, but it just doesn't get old. It's the product I use the most every day. It's the half of Apple's revenue. It's the reason that they're the Apple they are today. And man, it's just a beautiful phone. And these are renders. These are renders from like earlier this year from John Prosser and renders by Ian. I cannot imagine what the real thing is gonna look like. So stay tuned for more on the iPhones, but I just wanted to keep it brief for this video. Following that 2022 marks the year where we see a new product category from Apple. You 
guys have heard me talk about it. It's the mixed reality headset that will be a combination of VR and AR, and we already know what it looks like. This image from The Information, who is one of the best news websites in the entire game, I completely trust their reporting. They shared this image many, many months ago that shows this lightweight headset with a blue Apple Watch-like band and this black front with silver lining. It looks fun, it looks fresh, it doesn't look as serious as I anticipated it would, and the closer we get to this and then the more we hear about it, the more excited I get. We're hearing today from German, it's going to be focusing on three things. Gaming, media consumption, and communication are going to be the focuses. So for gaming, there's going to be an app store, there's going to be multiple processors in this thing, there's going to be a fan, there's going to be dual 4K displays. It sounds like it's going to really be like a, a dream device for somebody that's really into VR gaming. Number two, there's going to be reportedly special content made for this for media consumption, so you'll be able to consume all kinds of different things in this device. I'm a little bit more skeptical on, on global adoption of that, but I'm glad to see it supported on day one. And number three, most interesting to me are the communication features. Apple's working on an emoji for this thing and VR FaceTime. VR FaceTime. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. It sounds like VR FaceTime. Is this the metaverse that we're about to enter into? Because I just don't really, I don't know. I feel like a boomer with this take, but I just don't really think the metaverse is like what I want. I want to like interact with people in real life more, better, not interact with people virtually better. I feel like we already do that pretty well. This is going to be the big hmm thing that Apple drops next year. This is the next big thing. Cringe. I don't like the next big thing. Ah. It's just a new new cat product category. Let's move on to the iPad. In 2022, Apple is planning to upgrade three of their four iPad lines. We will be seeing a new base iPad, a new version of the iPad Air, and a radically upgraded version of the iPad Pro. Let's start off with the base iPad. We were supposed to get a model that was thinner and lighter in 2021, but that didn't materialize. So I could see that of being pushed back to 2022, a thinner and lighter, cheapest Apple iPad with a faster processor inside. That's the most of an upgrade, I think will get. It's the cheapest iPad. Apple is not going to put something groundbreaking inside of here. Next up, though, is the iPad Air. And while we don't have a lot of information about this, I was kind of surprised that Apple didn't update it in 2021. I mean, you guys remember they totally revamped the line in 2020 with the iPad Air branding and all of the colors, and it was a much more approachable, fun device. It's something that Apple's been doing with a lot of their products. The iPad Air is this really good, perfect mid-range iPad for people that don't want to spend $800 to $1,000 and want to spend more of the three or $500. It's really great in the middle, and I look forward to see what Apple updates it with. We don't have any details yet, but I mean, the usual, maybe some other software changes, but I think the design will remain the same. The iPad Pro though, oh baby, I am getting excited for this sweet iPad. This is the one that I use. That also means it's got Apple's latest technology and features inside. And this iPad next year is said to get a complete redesign, marking the first major design language change to the iPad Pros since their flat edge redesign in 2018. Thinking to myself though, I was like, what can Apple actually do with the iPad Pro? I mean, there's a literal M1 chip in here and the design is razor thin already in light. I, I don't know how they can change it. Well, apparently it's going to get a little glassy. Apple for the first time in the iPad's history is said to bring wireless charging and the way they're going to do that is through a new glass back. I think it's going to be kind of similar to the, the frosting maybe on the iPhone's full glass design. Oh, it's going to look so good. It'll probably be a little heavier, but man, is it going to look good? Also, I'm assuming Apple's going to put the M2 chip in here and we are already hearing things about that. Moving on to the final section of this video, the Mac lineup. Five new models are coming. We are getting a new high-end iMac to replace the current Intel 27-inch version, a new Mac Pro, a new Mac Mini, a new MacBook Pro, and a new MacBook Air. All of that is coming in 2022. Starting off with the MacBook Pro, we have no details on this, but German says it's gonna be a base model MacBook Pro, so likely cheaper than the current $2,000 starting price for the 14-inch redesigned MacBook Pro that just got updated. Next up, we are getting the all-new MacBook Air, which German calls the biggest redesign in the history of the product. John Prost and Renders by Ian have given us our first look. It is going to be unbelievably thin and light, white bezels flanking 
a white keyboard with a notch that is coming on this computer. Love it or hate it, I actually do not mind it. The lively colors from the iMac are also going to be making their way to the MacBook Pro, so this is going to be the most colorful MacBook Apple has ever released. It's just so many good things, plus an M2 chip inside that is going to change the game. If Apple can offer this computer for $1,000, my god it's game over for everybody else. The new Mac Mini, which John Prosser renders by Ian have also leaked, is gonna bring a ton of extra IO compared to the current M1 Mac Mini, an all new design with like a fiberglass white top, looking very reminiscent of the mid 2000s Mac Mini. It was my family's first Mac, and man, will always hold a special place in my heart. I love you, Mac Mini. Apple is said to put the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips inside of this thing, and if you're looking for just a, a, a great, insane desktop without a, a screen attached like this, is going to be good. I'm, I'm gonna buy one of these instantly. But then there's the extra fun stuff, which is gonna be the redesigned iMac with Apple Silicon. This is gonna have M1 Pro and M1 Max inside, but maybe something else special, like an upgraded special version of the M2 chip, more powerful than a standard M2. And of course, an all new design for this iMac as well, which is going to have a 27 inch plus mini LED 120 Hertz display. It is going to melt my face, and I can't wait. I can't wait for my face to just go, 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 go. But finally, there will be one more machine at the end of Apple's two-year transition to Apple Silicon that they will have not touched yet, and that is the, the Mac Pro, the dad of all Max. We are hearing crazy specs for this, like a 20 to 40 core CPU, a 128 core GPU, insane amounts of storage and integrated memory. Obviously, this is going to be the most expensive Mac of the bunch, as it is the Mac Pro. It is not a MacBook or a Mac Mini. This is the highest end computer Apple will make. And I don't think it will probably surpass their maximum Intel offering this year. Maybe it will, but it'll still get really close. And at the end of the day, it will be a power version of Apple Silicon with no monitor, just a desktop, optimized for performance, and it's going to blow everybody's minds. I don't think this is the product that most people will care about, but the Mac Pro is also coming next year. So that's the Mac lineup, five new Macs, it's insane. And I almost forgot AirPods Pro, a new version of AirPods Pro is also coming. I wanted to mention that um, they could go stemless, they could have a new chip inside. They've been working on a thermometer in the ear, but I have heard that has been going the best for the AirPods. Just get excited for next year because I thought this year was big and 2022 already sounds insane. Five Macs, three watches, three iPads, new AirPods, five iPhone models, and the VR headset, oh my gosh. Thanks for watching, thanks for watching. Drop a like, I'm gonna, I have to talk like this because I'm so excited. I'll see you in the next video, bye-bye.